Welcome back to Fishman Norby, guys. Something exciting today. We're throwing big spoons. Big ol' spoons for these bass. This is a big ol' hunk of metal, and we're going out fishing it deep on the ledges. We're gonna try to find some schooling bass, and bright sunny day, we're gonna drop that spoon on their heads. I'm picking up my neighbor, Larry. You guys know Larry? We have a blast together. He's a funny man. He is the man and we're gonna catch him today. He, uh, he doesn't do much ledge fishing. He doesn't have the graphs to do it. So taking him out, showing him a little bit of what I do out there on the ledges. So excited. You guys are gonna be pumped for this video because I'm pumped and I haven't fished the spoon too much on my channel. So let's do it. Let's get out there and go catch him. Current. I'm gonna do the old spoon, the old mag spoon, see if I can the big dog daddy. catch a giant on something I'm not good with yet. Get off my butt! <laughs> Get off your butt, boy! Let's see. Yep. First cast with the mag spin. Oh man. He is fighting hard. Woo! That's a good one. That is a good one. Oh yeah. Oh man. <laughs> Woo! I was gonna boat flip him, but he might be too big to boat. Oh, he's barely hooked. He's barely hooked. I gotta get the net. I gotta get the net. Here you go. Oh, he's right there. Yes. Oh man. How about that for the That's first about, fish of the day, Larry? It's about a seven pounder. Oh, that. At least. That's a giant. That is a good one. The heavy metal spin. But that's what you catch them on. That's what the ledges are made of right there, Larry. <laughs> Woo! That's why they built that big spoon. That is it. You ever seen it used in action? No, not the big one. The big one. <laughs> cool, man. Thank you for the net. Yeah, yeah that's a giant. Handy. That is a giant. We gonna keep it handy. We take a pick for me, Larry. That's a big one. Is that in front of the camera? I don't want to do that. There you go. I know. It's all like it just got out here. Yeah. It's crazy. Oh, where? Zeroed out. Clamp down. Okay. That fish is six, six, four, six, oh, four. Six pounder, guys. That's a giant. Let's go. Gotta get back down to him. Gotta get back down to him. See ya. Man. Give me some. Mm. <laughs> Woo! Set the hook on that thing and it was like a log. Like a log. You guys have been asking me why I've been throwing this big spoon on. Throwing it on 7-Eleven heavy. And I got 65 pound braid with a mono leader. I got 10 foot of 25 pound mono i got it rigged up on a swivel that way it doesn't twist your line big old heavy metal spoon i think yeah it's a castaic heavy metal spoon and it catches six pounders apparently 
<laughs> I honestly haven't thrown the big spoon as much as I should have in my lifetime. That's the first thing I grabbed. First thing I grabbed, Larry. First throw with it today. Okay. Hook point. You gotta make sure your hooks don't get bent out. That's a good one. He didn't really bend it. I'm just checking it. All right. Let's go. Nothing like one over six to start the day. That's all the further cast I made. I was doing the old double rip with it. Oh, I already got one. Oh, second cast with it. Oh. Two casts, two fish. Yes. They are crushing the spoon right now. This is another big, Larry. Oh, you never know how good you have them hooked with this spoon. Oh, oh man, he's running with it. Oh, I got him hooked in the tail, that's why. That's why he felt like he's a 10. That's still a good one. Thank you, Larry. That's still a four. <laughs> that's also why you have good hooks on there. Yeah. Thank you. Get him in the tail. Swiped at it. He is. He's a four. Second one of the day. His tail's bleeding. Getting my boat all dirty. Time to switch it up. No. I'm done throwing this. <laughs> yeah. No, we're not moving yet, Larry. <laughs> I'd be pretty dumb to move unless I was saving them. You know it? Yeah. Drop the shot. You got your Carolina rig? All right. On this spot. Oh, there's one. Old drop shot. Yeah, buddy. Good. How about that for a catch and release, Larry? Got her done, dude. <laughs> got him in. Kicked him out just as fast. Scout got excited. He said, "I didn't get come see him, Dad." I know. <laughs> Don't back talk me now. Sorry. Get him, Larry. And the jig. Yep. That's what I'm talking about. Good one? Yeah, probably about like the one you had. Okay. Maybe. Maybe. Maybe bigger. They're down there. <laughs> oh, did it get off? Yep. No. Both of ours got off right at the boat. I didn't get to see yours though. Didn't get to see it either. Hmm. That is true. Oh shoot! Missed one there, Larry. He was on there as soon as it sank the bottom. He was up a little ways. Oh shoot, that's a fish. <laughs> Dang it. I was pulling it out of the grass. I thought it was still in the grass. <laughs> oh my. What a big grass mat floating by out here on the main lake. Oh my gosh, one just picked it up. Yep. Oh, I'm 20 feet deep and there's a, a fish on the ledge down here. And this giant grass mat's floating by. Wow, feisty. 
Feisty scout. Oh, he came off right there. Whoa. Larry, look at that. I caught a lure <laughs> that had been in that fish's mouth. <laughs> he spit it Look at that. <laughs> Maybe that's the juice. That's what we need right there. <laughs> Little six inch twister tail, huh? Oh my gosh, that's funny. That's really funny. <laughs> it is. <laughs> wow. That's crazy. Well, let's go for another one. I'll bring you back out for redemption. There he is. Crankbait. Crankbait. It's dark. He barely hooked too. He didn't even want to eat it. Yep, spit it. <laughs> wow. Finally get a bite and he spits it. We got one guys. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I got one hooked. <laughs> he might not jump off, but he might. Woo! He's not ready to come up. He was feisty. And he ate that thing. An old drop shot. Two and a half. See ya. They're biting now that the sun's going down. What a day to be alive, guys. Caught some giants on the Castaic Heavy Metal Spoon. I've had this one for a while out in all conditions. It's still catching them. It's a little scuffed up, a little beat up, bumped it off too many rocks and whatnot down there on the bottom. But first cast of the day, caught one over six. Second cast of the day, got one over four. Man, that was fun. Got on some good ones today. That is hard to beat. That spoon definitely gets the big bite out there. Had fun with Larry today too. Uh, I forgot the back seat for him. I felt terrible, but he didn't even mind. Larry's over 70 guys and he's so limber. He jumps right in the boat and it's amazing. But I'm always asking Larry how he's doing or what he's up to. And, and uh, he always says it's another day in paradise. And that's so true down here in Alabama where we're at, it's beautiful. It is like paradise down here. But I think he would say that even if he wasn't in Alabama, another day in paradise. He is enjoying life and he is living uh, his best life and I love it. And I wanna share a little something with you guys from 1 Corinthians uh, chapter two. It says, however, as it is written, what no eye has seen, what no ear has heard, what no human mind has conceived, the things God has prepared for those who love him. These things, these are the things God has revealed to us by his spirit. Man, imagine what God is preparing for us. If it's like paradise here on earth, uh, or if you enjoy things here on this earth that God has blessed us with, how much greater will they be when we get to heaven in paradise, guys? How much greater? Um, it's a blessing to be here, and I, I'm so thankful and so grateful to be here in Alabama on Lake Gunnersville. And it is another day in paradise when you're walking with the Lord. But this world has its struggles. This world has its hate. Uh, this world has its, its things we got to deal with and the monotony of things and uh, you name it. If you're searching for satisfaction in paradise found in this earth, it's gonna leave you empty. But if you're searching for the Lord, he'll fill you up with his joy, he'll make you feel like you're in paradise and you will be one day. So God bless you guys, thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video, subscribe for more. We're gonna get out of here. And if you're interested in supporting my YouTube channel, you can do that through a website called Patreon. Link below. Help these videos keep coming out. Keep uh, sharing the word with people. But we're going to get out of here. God bless you.
Catch you next time on Fishing with Norby.